Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I said we're gonna pick it up in line four, but we can't because we need to finish up. We have another reference scripture in line three. So it says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. See, I love that. He is worthy to be praised. Nobody's worthy but our Father God. All right, so uh, Revelation 5, 12, that says, uh, and I'm gonna read up to 11, starting at 11. So Revelation 5, 11, and then I read 12. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and their elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, worthy is a lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So, Worthy is a lamb who was slain. And who is the lamb that was slain? Slain, Jesus Christ. To receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. All right. So, if we have a, diff a hard time praising God now on earth, that's all we're going to be doing in heaven. That's all we're going to be doing in heaven, praising the Lord. And giving him that thanksgiving for delivering us from our sin, from delivering us from hell in the grave. All right. So let's look at um, line four now. The pains of death encompassed me and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. Five, the sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ears. And remember in Psalm 17, he was how he was just, he was asking God to hear. And God heard. God listens to us. He really does hear us. All right. Um, so the pangs of death encompassed me. So, so, um, it gives us a, a reference scripture to Psalm 116, 116.3. That says the pains of death encompassed me. And the pangs of Sheol laid hold of me. All right. So we got the, the pains, which is the cords of death, encompassed me. And the pangs, P-A-N-G-S, of Sheol, that means the distresses of Sheol, laid hold of me. That's, that means found me. I found trouble and sorrow. All right. So it says, the, the, so the distresses of death encompassed me and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. And the ungodliness is that be loud. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. So the sorrows of, of hell or Hades surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, line six, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God, he heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. All right, the next stanza, line seven. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he was angry. All right, you know how light some parents get when somebody mess with their child? Or their children. Okay. So. You think God is not going to get angry. When somebody is messing with his children. Acts 4.31. Let's go there. So it says. 
And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaking, shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. So this is just a reference scripture saying that um, God hears. And when God hears our prayer in, in sincerity, he's going to move. He's going to move. When they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Then the earth shook and assembled. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Why? Because he heard David's cry. All right, we're going to stop there. We're going to pick it up in the next segment.